We are approaching the finishing of our extensive kitchen makeover, which started four months ago with a dig in the house to remove tons of fake terracotta ties and to cast a concrete slab for our new stone floor. Last week you've seen me driving to our carpenter, Benoit, to give him some tips about wood turning. Unfortunately, I didn't have my protective glasses with me, so I had to let him and his colleague Pierre finish the job. Benoit and Pierre, they managed to do all the legs for the kitchen island and none of the injuries they sustained during the process is life-threatening, which is very good news because it means they can now build it and I'm very excited. J'adore déjà. T'adore déjà? Oui. Le fait qu'il était en genou devant moi. Non, c'est surtout devant mon travail. Benoit has an easy part of assembling and making the kitchen island in wood, but now it gets tricky and that's when I come in, putting the plug sockets onto the kitchen island. Two holes perfectly aligned. Are you sure? Yes. Should we measure? No. Do you want to see this essential moment of the assembly of the kitchen island? This is the cherry on the top. You've got the moves of a pro, Philip. Yeah. I just realized you've got your orange in the kitchen. <laughs> what? I'm on a killing mission, a real killing mission. I'm looking for an insect that made a hole in one of our trees that we just bought. I called the nursery where I bought the tree and they said I could potentially find the larva that is responsible for the hole with this. This is a tree, it's the American red oak. It was actually the most expensive and the biggest tree we bought. And right here, I found a hole yesterday. If you know what it is, please let me know. Oh my goodness, this is very deep. <gasps> I don't think this is a good sign. Look at this. Oh no. It's that deep. Whoever has been there has been there for a long time. This is a massive, massive hole. I'm really worried about this tree. If you have an idea, let me know. Is this tree gonna die? Is this tree gonna survive? What a pity, it's a beautiful tree. I am officially announcing that my color choice of a red kitchen island hasn't been approved, neither by my wife, neither by our colleague Charlie, nor by the interweb. And yes, I mean you guys who disappointingly preferred Anna's color choice, another shade of green, at a rate of 99%. I decided to make up for this terrible defeat by gifting myself an extremely desirable artwork of the most beautiful color with the help of a company called Masterworks, who also happens to be this week's ad. Masterworks gives you the possibility to invest in art by names like Warhol, Picasso, Basquiat and other iconic artists. And I personally think that investing in art is interesting for many reasons. First, because it's cool to invest in art rather than some random stock, but also because contemporary art prices, the kind of art Masterworks offers, have outpaced the average of the top 500 stocks in the last 25 years by 164%. That might be true, I hear you say, but how should I invest in art if I'm not a waste pipe influencer billionaire like you, Philip? But that's exactly what makes Masterworks so brilliant. They have a team of art experts find trending artists with high potential for growth and price appreciation. Then they purchase paintings by these artists and enable you to invest in just a portion of them instead of needing millions for the full thing. When I saw they had this orange Mark Rothko on the list, I had to click the invest button. I didn't get my red kitchen island, but now I'm the proud owner of a share of an amazing piece of art by one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. 
When the moment is right, within the next seven years, Masterworks will auction the painting off, and if I'm lucky, I will make some profit. Now, as with all investments, no profits are guaranteed, and you might get back less than what you invest. But so far, each of the paintings Masterworks has sold has returned over 30% to investors' net of fees, and that sounds quite good to me. If you would like to know more about how to invest in some fine art with Masterworks, let them know I sent you by clicking the link in the description, and you will receive priority access to their services. your arm. Don't do it without your arm. This week Benoit is here finishing off all the messy, noisy work in the kitchen. So I thought I would take advantage of this moment where I can't be in the kitchen and we've closed down the guest house for a few days to get some jobs done that I've been waiting to do for a while. <laughs> Bonjour! Ça va bien? Oui. Encore la peinture? Encore! Tu aimes bien les peintures? Oui, j'adore. Super. Ça déteint. Right. So the question is, what colour are we going to do? I don't know. What do you think so? Um, I mean, I thought I'd be original and continue with the green theme. <laughs> it's it's going to be green again. Well, actually, no. I'm Having said that, <laughs> hang on. Sometimes I forget I'm going to film and then I just don't have makeup on. I look <laughs> tired. Yesterday, I did a bit of sanding and prep work, did some filling. I'm actually going to use the pearl colour, which we used in our entrance boot room. I have a ton of the paint left and I think it will look really nice in here. The reason I thought I would go with this color is because I noticed that it will pick up some of the colors that are in the mural that I used over here. So I think it will work really nicely with this dark green color. It's a lighter color, which is good because there's no natural light in the toilet. And then I'm thinking to go for a kind of paler color on the um, paneling and the bottom. And then accessorizing probably with some nice pictures that I need to source on the walls.
Hello. Hey. Enormous progress in the kitchen. Yes. A little slow, but we're getting there. And honestly, I couldn't have done it without the help of you, Anna and Charlie. Yeah, of course. It was our pleasure helping you. I thought you would be finished by now, though. Oh, yeah? Did you? Yeah, at least with the base, base color. Ah. Oh. What have you been doing this week? Oh, I, I was terribly busy. Mm-hmm. Doing what? Influencer stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, see you later then. I'm sure there must be some urgent influencing things you need to be doing right now. No? Yeah, but you missed a bit here. Look, up here. Ah! Why did you do that? Wow, that's... And is this product even male skin friendly? If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.